As a result of the mine closing down, there's been a high rate of poverty, unemployment, substance abuse, and school dropout in the community of your husband. My name is Florato Machitela, and I'm a clinical psychologist and founder of the Gumboots Group, Jahas Fundain Diamonds in the Rough. As a clinical psychologist, my job is to assess, diagnose, and treat patients with various psychological disorders. I spoke to a young girl and I asked her what her hopes and aspirations were. And she said to me, when she grows up, she wants to marry a disabled man so that she can be able to get his social security grant money. This for me made me realize that there is uh, an element of hopelessness in your husband day. So I'm interested in that group is in fact the as a form of social responsiveness to some of the issues that I was dealing with, I approached the male youth in Yahas Fontaine. There were some that were very withdrawn and they would not talk in the group. The boys said to me that they don't want to learn crumping, that they would rather do gumboots dance. Back in the days, the migrant workers uh, used to use gumboots dance as a form of communication with the sounds that they made with their boots. This was the way to communicate with each other. In the past, these young men's grandparents did not have a choice. And now, these kids are turning the symbolic representation of the boots into a positive way. Amazon analogy is a ninning at a war. Two wounds are a bupilung in Tor Winky Anyani. O Rufi tell Len to Ibata and what I mean to see with the cat hat. Lena is all a gore, I give what I do to a shook. O Ricket Crete, Redemia gets a my aunt, get a milky kitty silly, kitty gamat. Much in the damn the majority of the boys have problems in terms of reading and writing. I started a literacy project and I've also started using photography as a form of expression. The idea is to have an exhibition where these pictures could be discussed with the communities to bring about change. I've been working with the boys for two years. They perform at various events uh, throughout the Free State province. What I love the most about working with these boys is the ability to see the world through their eyes and how each one of them comes to group with a new story and is willing to turn that into a dance routine. And through them mastering their dance routine, I also see them wanting to do better in other aspects of their lives such as this schoolwork. These are South African heroes.